Our next guest today is a multi-talented music mogul who has more than enough credentials when it comes to being able to spot an act who could be the top of the pops. He recently stood in for David Hasselhoff on Britain's Got Talent and is so far the only judge from the original lineup of The X Factor to be reclaiming his seat on the panel when the series returns later this year. <laughs> Please welcome Louis Walsh! <laughs> Start. Yes. What happened? What? 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 do you mean? You're looking great. Oh, <laughs> you, look so, you look so different. I don't, well, I, I don't know. Lots of people keep saying that. I haven't done anything. Have you anything to tell us? No, I haven't had you any just... Botox. I haven't had a face. I haven't done anything. I've just not had a drink, have you? No, I haven't had a drink. You just look younger. I've been on holiday and I've, I've, I haven't been look... drinking for a bit. Jenny, she looks so much different. Well, <laughs> she, she sat next to me and I'm quite rattled. <laughs> After, after we've been talking about the whole Wayne Rooney thing, you know, about the hair transplant yeah. thing, and obviously you think cows have something done, which she categorically <laughs> says she hasn't, well, would you go down that route? If I had to, I absolutely would, yeah. I think yeah. it's called maintenance. Sharon Osborne <laughs> said to me ages ago, it's maintenance. If you're on TV, you have to look good, you know? Yeah. If I had to do it, I would absolutely do it. Not that you need to. You've got fine head well, hair. Well, you never oh. know. You just don't know. And if it keeps me on the X Factor, I absolutely would. Are you enjoying being back? I'm loving the new series. It's the best fun we've ever had. We've done three days. Yeah. We did two in Birmingham. We were in Glasgow last night. Only two hours sleep, by the way. Oh, two hours sleep. Yeah. Two hours sleep. I was up at Talisa until really, really late. And we're having the most fun. Kelly Rowland, Gary Barlow, Talisa. Right, is that Brilliant. official now? Yeah. It's official. We've done three days. Right, good. And this Who's is the boss judge? <laughs> There's no boss. We're all... It's like we were work together. It's really, really work, Jenny. I'm not just saying this. Are you not tempted to be the boss judge, seeing as you're no. the original No, one? you're no, the survivor. I'm, mm, I'm still yes. standing, you know? But you're yeah. always... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. At least there's one consistent person there. But the talent, we've got some amazing people. We got two people yesterday in Glasgow. We got two in Birmingham. Really, two really... in the whole of Glasgow. No, two. Like, like <laughs> incredible people, possible, what? possible winners. Really, wow. yeah, like but really, really good. Do you have an instinct? Do the hairs go up on the back of your neck? <laughs> um, I don't have any hairs on the back of my neck. Well, they've been <laughs> transplanted <laughs> round the front in yeah. Wayne Rooney. Really, really, in a few years, but no, we just got a feeling this could be our biggest and our best series. Ever. Do you, Louis, um, I couldn't have you on without obviously mentioning the whole Cheryl Cole thing. Now you you've experienced it yourself because obviously you 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 were. I were, was sacked. Yes. No, nobody believes that story. I really was sacked. Do you believe I was sacked? I do believe okay. you were sacked. Absolutely, okay. yes. I do. Mm. Because honestly, I was sacked. But I was reinstated. You know. Yeah. How did you feel about that? I was devastated. It was like the worst part of my life. You didn't ever. see it coming, did you? I didn't see it coming. At all, mm -hmm. and I was sacked, and I thought, "Oh my God!" How did you get the call? But why were you reinstated, and how? What made you think, right? I'll just go back now, you know, with my tail between my legs after that kind of humiliation, because that's what it is, and that's what Cheryl must be suffering right now. Yeah, but I was glad to get the call to come back. I was yeah. so glad, and I was on that first plane out, gone. And have you spoken Absolutely. to Cheryl? Because you're the, obviously the yes. only one who's been yes. through this. Yes, yes. I haven't talked to her, but I text her an awful lot. Sure. I think she's going to be fine, because she, she loves her music and she loves her dance. Oh, and yeah. she's got lots of things to do and she's got a Girls Aloud. Are they going to be, are they gonna be touring again, Girls Aloud? There's whispers I think, of it. I think they're going to tour next year, but she's, she loves her music. She mm -hmm. loves her music. Because obviously Absolutely. you and Cheryl go way back anyway. Cause they're from Girls Aloud, from Pop Stars to Run. You didn't think they were going to last, though, did you? Seriously. No, I didn't. No, because girl bands tend to fall out. Do you know, you know the biggest well, look, look, yeah. look at the sugar yeah. babes. Every time I look at them, there's a new lineup. <laughs> you know? Just like the judges. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the good ones last. <laughs> Louis, can we please talk about Jedward? Yes. Now, are you surprised at how enormous they've become? They're number one in five countries after Eurovision. They? they have never stopped working, guys. What They're is making it? For, what do you mean? You've created a monster. <laughs> Two of them. Two-headed monks, <laughs> but do you not like them? With her. I think they're extraordinary. They came on here, and I literally was looking for where they put the batteries in, because they are <laughs> extraordinary. Or, out. or take them out. They're fairly unique, aren't they? They are Probably brilliant, but they're great fun. Kids love them. Mm. Now, you Kids used to have some them. massive rows with Simon over Jedward. Surely I did. you must miss having someone to row with on the panel. Well, Kelly's pretty fiery. Is she? And oh. Talisa, ooh. Yeah. Ooh, she's good. And, of course, Gary Barlow's been round. He knows what he's talking about. Okay. He's very nice, though, isn't he? He's very honest. Yeah. He's very, very honest. And he's, you know, I think we've got potentially the best series ever. Is there a nasty judge, Louis? Have we got a nasty one? <sighs> I suppose it's in everybody. 
Oh. So I think rather it's than everybody. one, it's no, thinly because spread. The competition really starts when we get our categories and then we sure. all want to win, you know. Okay. Well, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna be chatting with you just after the break. Can, can we you mention Wonderland, the album's top ten? We're, we're going to do that just after okay. that, okay. After, after the wee break. <laughs> don't, don't worry, <laughs> we're the true manager. I know, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> right. And we're going to be done? hearing more from Louis after the break. Over here. After the break. And good luck. I'm delighted today we're still joined by the man behind some of the mightiest pop bands on the planet. It's Louis Wall. <laughs> <laughs> and that is actually true, Louis Walsh. You are the man behind some of the biggest bands on well, the planet. Yeah. Boys, <laughs> Boys <laughs> and Westlife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Westlife still going strong 12 years later. It's fabulous. You know? yeah. Yeah. And obviously, and we touched on uh, Jedward earlier on, obviously, after Eurovision, doing very, very well. Number one in five countries, non-stop working, you know. And JLS as well. JL I don't manage them. I was just a mentor, yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you still keep in touch with the boys? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And they so deserve the success. Now, why have you decided to, to go from after years and years and years of, you know, you are famous for putting together very successful boy bands and, and, and managing them very well. Why have you decided to for put a girl band together? There's a massive gap in the market for a girl band that can really, really sing. We Wonderland, they all sing. We had 2,000 people at the auditions. Carl, you weren't there. I wasn't there, you no, I missed there. it. You oh, oh, I would have put her in. <laughs> Why are you doing this with Keen from Westlife Yeah, as well? because we talked about it, and Keen's wife is in the band. What if she hadn't got in? Can you well, imagine? She auditioned like everybody else. If she wasn't good enough, I wouldn't Actually, have put her in. And you've really tried them out, because I saw a documentary Honestly, where yeah. they really were put through their paces. Absolutely. They performed live, and they had to go through that whole... Jenny, we had 2,000 girls. We got down to 20, then it was really hard. Then we got down to 10. It was was so Keen hard. allowed to vote for his wife? Sort of. But <laughs> I had the final say. She only got through because she was good enough, Jenny. But these girls are special because they all sing. And you say this is um, pop music for grown-ups. It's pop what, for grown-ups. I know, but what does that mean? It, it means you, you, you could buy the oh, album. Yeah. Like no, I this is I'm music for everybody. Up. And I like JLS. Yeah, Mentally, you're not grown up, but physically, you <laughs> <laughs> physically you are. <laughs> you know, you're like me. That's the, the album's in the charts, by the way. It's number it nine. Wow. It could be up to number eight What's now. the difference between working with girls and boys? Is, it, is there a big difference? Girls are hard at work. Are they? They are. Come on, look in at you for yeah? You're hard at work. In what way? More hair, more makeup, more maintenance. <laughs> oh, I don't know any oh, yeah. maintenance. Yeah. Yeah. The higher maintenance. Come on, I'm right, Carl. Yeah. Boys just get out and do it, you know? But if you get a great girl band, and this, this, this girl yeah. band could be worldwide. Now, we They're were talking special. earlier the as well about, are about being superstitious and tempting fate or anything like that. Are you worried you're tempting fate? Now you're going to, uh, you know, work with a girl band rather than a boy band? No, no. I've got a great record company, Mercury Records. They are doing incredible. Are you superstitious? Did I say the record was top ten? Did I say the record was top ten? You did. You mentioned that. You're doing very well, Louis. You've got all your plugs in. It might go higher, you know. I just think they're special and I just wanted to get a break. Which one's Kian's wife? Jody, in the middle. Hello. Hello. Hello, lovely girls. Have you gigged live yet, girls? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we've been touring for the past year. Who drives the yeah. van? Me. <laughs> <laughs> now, is he a hard ta taskmaster? What's he like to He's work? honest, which is yeah. what we need. We want to be a good band and we want to be a great band, so um, we need someone that's honest, which is... Great. I'm not bad looking, it has to be said. They look good. Have <laughs> <laughs> been in hair and makeup for about three hours? No. <laughs> <laughs> That's so always right about that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about the song you're going to sing for us today. Um, Starlight is actually our second single, but it's out on the album, and um, it's just a fun, up-tempo song. We never usually dance, so to this one we kind of move a little bit more than we used to, and it's just a really fun song, so we're looking forward to performing it for you Great, yes. great. Now, obviously, just before we, uh, we hear the girls sing, tell us a little bit about um, Britain's Got Talent. You briefly stepped in there. What was that like compared to X Factor? It was Factor? brilliant fun. It was absolutely... It was easier than X Factor, you know, because you don't have to mentor the acts. Yeah. And I love Amanda Holden. I just absolutely love Amanda Holden, and Anton did keep the whole thing together. Yeah. Michael McIntyre was good too. You know? would, you, would you do it again if they asked you Absolutely, to? Absolutely, yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah, Half got sick, he had to go to Australia. I would jump down. What do you mean he got <laughs> sick and had to go to Australia? I don't know. <laughs> but I was told he wasn't going to be there and I was on the next plane. <laughs> it's lovely to have you on the show Thank as you, ever. Andrea. Are, are you Thank happy? You You've said everything you wanted to say. I no plugs so you need to get out. Everything is happy. What about the, the album? What number the is album it? is the called album? Wonderland. Oh, yes. It's in all good record shops. It's number nine. Lovely. Well, for now, it is the lovely <laughs> Louis Walsh, everyone. Hey! Thank you.